The trickster is the forerunner of the savior, and like him, God, man, and animal at once. He is both subhuman and superhuman, a bestial and divine being whose chief and most alarming characteristic is his unconsciousness. Carl Jung on the psychology of the trickster figure. Picture a path less traveled, winding through the shadows of the psyche, where the lines between hero and villain blur into a dance of deceit and revelation. This is the journey of the trickster, an archetype that defies convention and challenges the very essence of order. In this video, we will uncover the trickster's tracks within ourselves, unraveling the mischief that leads to profound self-discovery. Welcome to Pondering Psyche, where we dive into psychology, philosophy, and big ideas that make you go, hmm. Today, we summon the elusive trickster, a figure woven into the fabric of myth, folktales, and psyche. Here, Carl Jung's insights reveal the trickster as a living force that disrupts, defies, and ultimately delivers us to the doorstep of self-awareness. The trickster taunts us with the promise of freedom and the peril of chaos compelling us to confront the unpredictable nature of our own being. Why should the trickster matter to you? Because within his dance lies the key to unlocking our true potential, to harmonizing the discordant parts of ourselves. In this episode, we will encounter the dualities of the trickster, the creator and the destroyer, the revealer and the deceiver. Join us as we trace the steps of the trickster from the primal roots of our collective unconscious to the very heart of individual transformation imbued with deeper meaning and purpose. Mercurius, the alchemical trickster. Carl Jung's encounter with the trickster archetype brought forth visions for him of carnivals and medieval revelries, where societal hierarchies were turned on their heads and the devil danced as the ape of God. This chaotic spirit, reminiscent of the alchemical Mercurius, was marked by a fondness for mischief and transformative pranks, capable of shape-shifting and enduring both suffering and salvation. The Mercurius figure in alchemy refers to the element Mercury, but symbolically represents a world-creating spirit within matter, embodying the concept of unity and the internal cycle of destruction and renewal, showcasing the alchemical journey's goal of harmonizing contradictions. The trickster manages through his foolhardy ways what others cannot through deliberate effort, turning the meaningless into the meaningful. In embodying the principle of anentiodromia, a concept introduced by Carl Jung, which describes the phenomenon where something turns into its opposite, especially as a result of being pushed to its extreme. It is often used to describe the process by which the unconscious or repressed elements of the personality emerge into consciousness leading to a dramatic transformation of the individual's attitude and life. Jung mapped an image of the psyche composed of three parts, consciousness, the personal unconscious, and the collective unconscious. According to Jung, it is in this shared realm of the collective unconscious where the trickster makes its home. The trickster is a collective shadow figure, a summation of all the inferior traits of character in individuals, Carl Jung's collected works. Its manifestation is not merely a product of the unconscious, it is a dynamic living force that emerges as a response to current calamities and dangers. The trickster's emergence in dreams, art, synchronistic events, and personal mishaps signals a release of compensatory energy, demanding recognition and integration as a symbol that continually reconstructs itself, channeling, according to Jung, profoundly salvific power or a power that leads to personal salvation. This underscores the trickster's role in catalyzing psychological integration, reflecting the ongoing dance between our conscious selves and the shadowy depths of the unconscious. The power of mana and trickery. In the exploration of the trickster archetype, we uncover an ancient force known as mana, a concept from the Melanesian anthropology. Mana represents an extraordinary supernatural power, much like the modern concept of charisma, but with deeper, more primal roots. This force of mana embodies the capacity to disrupt, to challenge the established order. This is the force that the trickster wields to become a conduit for change, embodying both the danger and the potential for growth, 
that comes with confronting the deep, often hidden forces within our psyche. The trickster's actions, while seemingly chaotic or mischievous, often carry a deeper purpose to challenge us, to push us towards transformation, and to reveal the hidden potentials within ourselves and our societies. In this way, the trickster and the concept of mana invite us to embrace the unpredictable, to find meaning in the madness, and to recognize the power of disruption as a pathway to true growth. Carnival of the Psyche. Historical carnivals didn't merely entertain, they represented a profound subversion of the social order. Here thrived the trickster, the master of ceremonies in a world turned upside down, daring to mock kings and pave a subversive path towards freedom for peasants, if only for a moment. As we mirror this dynamic internally, the trickster urges us to upend the hierarchies that rule within. It whispers of the freedom found in the topsy-turvy, in the revelry of challenging norms and the liberation that comes with it. The trickster's call is clear. Embrace the chaos, for it is the crucible of transformation. It's an invitation to paint your face with the colors of rebellion and discovery. Will you heed the call to join the carnival of your own becoming? In Antiodromia, the balancing act. Within the trickster's archetypal patterns, Jung's concept of an antiodromia emerges as a guiding thread. This ancient principle where excess begets its opposite reveals the trickster's hand in the push-pull of our inner world. As we dance to the trickster's tune, we find that our most pronounced traits, when stretched too thin, summon their antithesis. For example, a person known for their unwavering confidence may, when pushed to extremes, encounter moments of crippling self-doubt. It is a balancing act performed on the high wire of our psyche, where the trickster and its mischievous wisdom disrupts our one-sidedness, compelling us toward a more nuanced image of self. Through this lens, we perceive our extremes as invitations to growth. The trickster does not seek to harm, but to harmonize, nudging us towards the middle path with each unexpected trick, each unanticipated stumble, until we stand, balanced, at the center stage of our own lives. The Collective Shadows Play According to Jung, the trickster is a personification of the collective shadow, emerging during times of upheaval and transformation. It is through the trickster's antics that the darker, often ignored aspects of our communal identity come to light, challenging us to confront and integrate these elements into our collective consciousness. When society faces a crisis or when an individual stands at a crossroads, the trickster thrives, revealing the unexamined traits and impulses that lie beneath our cultivated exteriors. Through humor or chaos, this archetype reveals our flaws and hypocrisies, prompting a collective introspection and self-realization. In reality, this aspect of the trickster can manifest as a meme or attempts at subversive comedy, inviting us to deeper understanding of ourselves. By embracing the trickster, we open ourselves to authentic and holistic self-awareness, one that acknowledges the full spectrum of human nature and its potential for growth and change. Coyote, the sacred fool. Coyote, you devil, you tricked me once more. May I sit and ponder what you did it for? Jamie Sams and David Carson. Revered by the indigenous cultures as the medicine dog, Coyote emerges as the quintessential trickster figure in culture. When encountering Coyote's archetype, one is beckoned to embrace the impending arrival of transformative medicine, whether bitter or sweet, that promises profound insights often delivered through laughter that carries both joy and pain. Coyote, endowed with myriad magical abilities, often finds himself ensnared by his own cunning, a testament to the irony of his trickery. Despite his foibles, he embodies resilience, perpetually rising from the ashes of his misadventures, albeit perhaps a bit worse for wear. His journey serves as a mirror to our own human imperfections and the art of self-sabotage. Sacred yet fallible, Coyote's antics remind us of the cosmic joke embedded within trickster medicine, the capacity to deceive ourselves and others with an air of grace and absurdity. In his mishaps, we find reflections of our own blind spots in the humorous interplay of fate, 
inviting us to ponder the deeper truths veiled beneath the guise of folly. The Eternal Trickster The trickster's resilience is a testament to its necessity, embodying the ongoing dialogue between our higher aspiration and our basest instincts. As we encounter the trickster, we encounter the forces of creation and destruction that define the human condition. It is in this space that we find the potential for salvation, a chance to reconcile with the parts of ourselves we dare not face, to find meaning in madness, and to achieve a semblance of wholeness. By acknowledging the trickster within, we do not invite chaos, but rather a deeper harmony as we learn to navigate the complex narrative of self in the sacred act of becoming. As we conclude our exploration of the trickster archetype, remember that understanding the trickster is just the beginning of unraveling the mysteries of the psyche. If today's journey into the realm of the trickster archetype has sparked a flame of curiosity within you, let's keep that flame alive by clicking on this video for an introduction to the archetype of the Puer Eternus, or Eternal Child, where we explore how the quest for eternal youth within us shapes our perceptions and experiences. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more psychological and philosophical content to improve your quality of life and unlock the mysteries of your inner world.